So um, cholesterol specifically is the, the particles get deposited into the lining of the, the walls of the arteries. And that's what can slowly build up over time and then rupture. And that's what a heart attack is, is when you have that plaque that's built up and then it ruptures and blocks the flow of blood. And then, you know, you, the, the classic thing that you see on TV of people clutching their chest and everything. I mean, that's, that's basically your heart muscle not getting any oxygen and being starved of, uh, of blood. So that also sounds bad. Yeah. Also a bad thing. We can make a judgment there. <laughs> yeah. okay. Also yeah. not good. Two, two bad things yeah. Yeah. that we don't yeah. want to happen. The, two wrongs definitely don't make a right. <laughs> no, we yeah. don't want yeah. any. Exactly. Any and, of those. And blood sugar um, does a variety of things. One of the things it does is it basically can attach to multiple areas. And this is something that one of the labs that I worked in, in undergrad studied is um, advanced glycation end products. Sounds like a crazy mm -hmm. term. It's basically AGEs, you have exactly. Age, yeah. Yep. Mm -hmm. Yep. So yeah, you, you age and you get ages. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and so basically it becomes a very pro-inflammatory state for that inner lining of the, the blood vessels, again, increasing their risk yeah. for rupturing and, and causing more problems that way. And one of the things about inflammation that I don't think people know is that inflammation is sticky. Mm. And mm -hmm. uh, the more inflammation you have, the more likely you are to have some of these things come and like stick to a blood vessel wall or, or anything like that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, absolutely. What, what are people still getting wrong when it comes to, you know, on the Instagram? Mm -hmm. What are, what? <laughs> Can you fix Instagram for us real quick? I mean, oh, we love goodness. Instagram, right? Yeah. I mean, yeah. if they want to sponsor this. I mean, it's not too. Wikipedia. No, 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 no. It's not, but... yeah. <laughs> What's out there? Yeah. I think the most common thing that I get, you know, questions about in the clinic is related to like fad diets, right? Mm. I mean, yeah. I think we all in healthcare get asked about yeah. these things. And, yeah. and so um, they'll say like, oh, but what about, you know, this diet? Or I had this friend that did this diet and, you know, they look great and they feel great. So that must mean it'll work for me too, kind of a thing. Yeah. And so, um, I, you know, basically I, I have to say, well, let's, we have to just look at the, the data that we mm. have. Um, and the data is that the Mediterranean diet is probably the, the strongest data that we have for long-term cardiovascular health. And that's, you know, broken down simply whole food, plant-based diet, again, decreasing that inflammation, um, decreasing excess amounts of processed foods, things like that. I mean, that's yeah. the simplest way to to put it for, for there. So. so by Mediterranean diet, don't you mean the carnivore diet? <laughs>